green tea, UCC. No sugar, no artificial coloring. We present wild body and aroma to you. I've uh, tried their uh, oolong tea, if I'm pronouncing that right, oolong tea, uh, before. Uh, I was really impressed. I've had Japanese uh, canned green tea before, but not this brand. So this is one of the other big competitors for the canned tea market in Japan. Okay. We have your nutrition facts. It is a product of Japan imported into Canada. Let's see if I can get that sticker on. Okay. This one seems to be coming off okay. All right. What do we got here? A water green tea ascorbic acid. The best before date. <clears throat> One of the great things I like about these uh, canned teas is that um, this brand that has a very sturdy can um, compared to, let's say, a, a Coca Cola can, a soda pop can in North America, this is much more durable. Uh, the construction is it, it's not as strong as the Obong tea, it is quite, quite firm. So this would be uh, pretty good, I think, uh, for a survival kit. You know, you have your uh, have a you have your uh, little treat, help you through those stressful times. Get some sodium back into you, um, because you know it can stay in the can past the best before date. That's more the manufacturer's talking about taste. Something that's canned with sodium, uh, uh, theoretically, could last quite a long time, but there'd be a, a degradation in um, flavoring. All right, so let's let's give this a try. Yep, quite a firm can. Oh yes, I don't know if it's showing up in the video that that is. Really nice uh, coloring there. Okay, so a bit of a taste test. Mmm. Okay. Oh, wow. I've been uh, accustomed to uh, canned green tea from Japan. And I have to say that uh, once again, uh, this brand has proven to be uh, have be quite a lot quite flavorful. Uh, there's a, a really uh, rich aroma of green tea to it. Now I did test another brand. You'd have to check my videos. Uh, this one doesn't have that sort of like almost out of the ground. Uh, kind of taste. In fact, it has a different flavor than the other green tea. It's more on the front of the tongue. Uh, there's less of an aftertaste, but it does, the taste does, well, it does stay on the, on the, the front part of the tongue rather than the back. So, Yeah. So it has like a lighter, less earthy sort of a, a flavor to it. A little sh sharper, even though there's no sugar. I wonder the differences. See, there is carbohydrate in this one. Even though it says, uh, and there's the sodium, I don't believe it's the same amount.
It's the ascorbic acid, I suppose, does alter the taste. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. You know, it's quite good. I give it a I give it a 7 out of 10.